It's a common complaint among film fans that movie marketing gives way too much away, with trailers often outlining almost the entire story before audiences have even sat down to watch it for themselves. And even if you quite sensibly decide to go spoiler blackout on a film's trailers, it's always possible that even a single unavoidable poster will flat out tell you how everything ends anyway. That's certainly true of these 10 movie posters, all of which shamelessly gave the game away without a thought in the world for those who might prefer to experience the biggest and most iconic moments for themselves totally unspoiled. A few of these posters at least got a few points for creativity, but most have been rightfully dinged for leaving little to the audience's imagination and ruining the joy of discovery in the process. Some have a few subtle elements you might not fully appreciate until you've seen the film, while others just describe the whole ass plot of the movie, including its ending, in the most basic and annoying way. Either way, they're yet further proof that marketing intended to inform audiences can sometimes go way too far. And so with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture, here with 10 movie posters that spoiled everything. Number 10. The Ritual the Cabin in the Woods. Most of the marketing for The Cabin in the Woods nicely played coy about the precise nature of its seemingly tropey horror movie setup. The trailer did, of course, suggest a sci-fi twist, but still kept things vague enough to be interesting. But the poster for the film's Japanese release dropped any and all pretense of preserving the big secret by blatantly showing the underground facility which contains the various cube-like prisons containing the monsters unleashed at the end of the film. The poster makes it painful clear that Cabin in the Woods isn't just an evil dead knockoff. It shamelessly reveals the big sci-fi conceit that isn't fully unfurled until much late in the story. Okay, sure, it doesn't quite go the whole hog and write it's part of a world-saving ritual in neon lights, but it gives more than enough context for most people who see the poster to start figuring out what's going on. Number 9. Carrie's Rampage, Carrie Brian De Palma's Carrie features one of the most iconic and unforgettable endings to any horror movie. Nay, any movie period. Yet even audiences watching the film upon release in 1976 were bamboozled with posters which blatantly revealed the big third act outcome. The poster contained two pictures of Carrie, both as a smiling beautiful prom queen and then bathed in blood, while stating that she has the power, making it abundantly clear that Carrie causes one hell of a massacre on prom night with her supernatural abilities. Even without the knowledge of the humiliation Carrie suffers at the prom, namely being soaked in pig's blood, it pretty plainly details the film's most iconic set piece and Carrie's descent into bloody vengeance. The marketing for the 2013 remake didn't fare much better either, showing Carrie covered in blood and wandering the fiery streets she'd just set ablaze. Number 8. The Band Goes to Prison, Airheads Comedy movies are generally less susceptible to spoilers ruining the experience, but even so, the posters for 1994's cult classic comedy Airheads dropped the ball big time. The film focuses on an LA rock band who hijack a radio station in order to get their demo recording played on the air. It's a fun concept and a fondly remembered movie by audiences, though certainly not by critics, except for the fact that the main poster literally shows the trio standing in front of a police lineup. And even if you think that's still somewhat ambiguous, the tagline at the top of the poster literally reads, they were a rock and roll band that couldn't get arrested. That was before they took an entire radio station hostage. And so it's little surprise that Airheads in Deeds end with the band being arrested for their act, albeit while only serving three months for their crime and going on to finally find the success they were craving. Number 7. John Connor is a Terminator, Terminator Genesis Name a more iconic duo than the Terminator franchise and spoiling its own plot in the marketing. The fifth Terminator film, Terminator Genesis, made especially baffling pains to give away its own shocking plot twist in both the movie's later trailers and posters. The final poster pointlessly revealed that Resistance leader John Connor had somehow been turned into a villainous Terminator, with a fiery expanse showing the robotic form below his human facade. While fans who wanted to dodge spoilers could have avoided the trailer with relative ease, movie posters are basically everywhere, ensuring the spoiler cautious were almost certainly subjected to it at some point before the movie's release. Given that this is Genesis's big reveal, it's clear that Paramount was so desperate to lure audiences in by any means necessary that they willingly gave away the film's big surprise for free. It didn't help much though, as while certainly not a box office bomb, Genesis' commercial performance was much lower than expected. 
Number 6. The Monster, 10 Cloverfield Lane The marketing for 10 Cloverfield Lane did a genuinely solid job of only hinting at the dangers awaiting protagonist Michelle outside of Howard Stambler's survival compound. That is, except for the movie's international poster, which flipped the bird to subtlety and just straight up revealed the film's late game set piece. The poster shows Michelle running through a field while being pursued by a gigantic alien spacecraft, confirming that A. Michelle does indeed make it out of the compound, B, she can safely breathe the air out in the open, and C, the finale involves a fight with an alien. Even with the film having Cloverfield in the title, many went in assuming it to be a smaller scale spin-off merely existing within the same world as Matt Reeves' 2008 found footage film. But anyone unlucky enough to see the international poster had any and all ambiguity ripped away, ensuring they spent the entire movie anxiously anticipating the showdown they already knew was coming. Number 5. This is not a game, Ender's Game The posters and trailers for 2013's adaptation of Orson Scott Card's legendary sci-fi novel Ender's Game tried to get a little too cute for their own good and in turn basically gave the game away. The posters proudly placed the tagline front and centre which read, this is not a game. While at first glance this might simply seem like a cool movie marketing quote, it actually spoils the big climactic twist that the training exercise protagonist Ender believes he is participating in is actually a very real engagement with alien combatants. Hell, even the poster that didn't include this tagline nevertheless showed off the outcome of the final battle, with the alien planet clearly being obliterated by Ender. Though many people going to see Ender's game would have been familiar with the source material, given that the book came out almost 30 years before the movie, it's also fair to say that many more likely wouldn't have. Despite the twist being surprisingly well executed, it's a shame that the marketing needlessly spelled it out in the most literal sense. Number 4. The Sniper's Identity Phone Booth Joel Schumacher's Phone Booth is a criminally underappreciated little thriller in which Stu Shepard finds himself held hostage in a New York City phone booth by an unhinged sniper. Now, to be completely fair, if you're a fan of the TV show 24, you're probably going to figure out very early on that the sniper on the other end of the phone is voiced by Kiefer Sutherland. But if you weren't familiar with Sutherland's dulcet tones, the poster damn near clarified what the movie's villain looked like, showing a sliver of Sutherland's bespectacled face staring intensely into the distance. This wouldn't be a problem if not for the fact that the movie intentionally conceals the sniper's identity until the very end of the film, and even attempts to mislead viewers as to who he is. In a final failed fake-out, we're led to believe that the caller is actually a disgruntled pizza delivery guy who encountered Stu earlier in the movie. But anyone who's seen the poster with Sutherland's face on, or better yet, knows his voice, will be acutely aware they're being messed with. And so, of course, minutes later, Sutherland finally makes a brief on-screen appearance exactly as pictured in this poster. Evidently, Fox couldn't resist the urge to feature their 24 star in the film's marketing, as infuriatingly spoilerific as it was. Number 3. A Dying Embrace, Pompeii While it's a given that audiences interested in Paul W.S. Anderson's Pompeii would be aware that the film would depict the titular city's destruction by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, the outcome of its Titanic-esque love story seemed a little less certain. That was unless you took a gander at the poster, which blatantly showed gladiator Milo and his lover Cassia sharing an embrace while the volcano violently erupts behind them. While some might have assumed the poster was merely a conceptual one to synergize the film's romantic and action-based elements, lo and behold, the very end of the film indeed sees Milo and Cassia having one final kiss before being engulfed by Mount Vesuvius's pyroclastic flow. Hell, the poster even clarifies the point further with the tagline, no warning, no escape, confirming that the movie's characters won't find a way to miraculously survive and get their Hollywood happy ending. Number 2. Pete Davidson is the killer Bodies, Bodies, Bodies The poster for A24's satirical horror film Bodies, Bodies, Bodies delivers two spoilers for the price of one, albeit in a way that not everybody will realise until they've actually seen the movie. It's a seemingly pretty typical poster which shows off the ensemble cast against an unremarkable dark backdrop. But take a look at Pete Davidson, who is the only member of the cast handling a weapon of any kind, a machete-like weapon no less. 
This hilariously spoils the fact that Davidson's character David is technically the killer who kills the movie's first victim. It just so happens that the first victim is himself. Indeed, David is the first person to die in Bodies, 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 having his throat slashed by, you guessed it, the bladed weapon glimpsed up against his head in the poster. But the movie's big twist is that David wasn't murdered. He accidentally killed himself while trying to open a bottle of champagne with the weapon for a TikTok video. It's basically all blatantly hinted at visually by what we see on the poster, even if you might not quite realise just how spoilerific it is until you've watched the film yourself. Number 1. Sonia falls to her death, Plum Bum or the Dangerous Game An extremely deep cut now with the 1987 Soviet drama Plum Bum or the Dangerous Game. Both of the primary posters for the cult classic film show the face of lead actor Anton Androsov, who plays the title character, interspersed with an image of what appears to be a young woman falling to her death. And so, can you guess precisely what fate befalls the movie's primary female character, Sonia? That's right, she leaps off a roof to her brutal demise in the film's very last scene. While one of the posters at least disguises the falling individual's identity, another quite blatantly shows not only that she's a woman wearing a white gown, but makes no effort whatsoever to disguise the face. Given that Sonia's death is the grim climax to the entire movie, it's an extremely bizarre choice indeed. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.